In this video, we're going to time how long it takes for different charging networks to establish their handshake and start initiating a charge on one of our EVs. We're here in West Fort Worth, West Worth Village by a Sam's Club, and right over there is an Electrify America as soon as this uh, CO2 truck goes by. And as you can see, the Electrify America is full. So we're gonna wait here for a little bit. And I think I started timing uh, how long it took us to get into the charging stall. Uh, but we're gonna start with the Electrify America on our Chevy Bolt and see how long uh, it takes for the handshake to initiate charging. And then we'll get out of here so we're not blocking a charger. So it took us 15 minutes and 36 seconds to get to a spot. We're at the Electrify America, the line died down. So we're going to try this timer again. It's been roughly about 30 seconds. So we're going to go in and plug in. Now, we're going to start timing from when I swipe on the app uh, because Electrify America wants me to plug in first. I am plugged in. I'm on charger number three. All right, Rachel, are you ready? ready? Three, two, one, start timing. I have swiped to charge. I'm just going to do a little bit of a backup timer. What, what, what timer are you at right now? Seven, eight, nine seconds. So I'm four seconds behind you. It took me four seconds to, swip, swatch, to swap over and, and get my timer going. We've locked in place. The fans have kicked on. And as soon as you hear the beep, hit stop. you hit stop. Stop. Okay, well I was able to stop mine at 30.15, so we'll say roughly 30 seconds, and I'll, uh, you know, I'll even put a little timer up uh, for a timestamp in the video when I get into editing, we'll see what that says. Um, but that is the handshake time for Electrify America. Uh, now we have to activate that through the app, the Bolt doesn't have a plug and charge capability at Electrify America, and uh, the next place we're going to go to is an EVgo that does have that. So I'm going to go in, and that's really all we needed was that. And we're going to stop the charge. We're at the shops at Clear Fork on the third level of the parking garage where there is an EVgo named Lark. EVgo names their machines. Now, some CCS cars can do plug and charge at Electrify America. The Mustang Mach-E can, but the Chevy Bolt cannot. However, at EVgo, they do something, I think it's called auto charge, which is basically plug and charge. So I don't have to interact on an app with this one. I'm just going to un, uh, open the door, undo the cover, grab the charging handle, and you're ready. We're going we're gonna to do a timer here from when, the, when I plug in to when the car starts charging. In three, two, one, go. Plugged in, it's clicked to get started, plug in any open connector. I've got an orange light on the car. And the car is stating that it is initializing. It says so on the dash. There's clicks and whirs coming from the machine here. Doo -doo -doo. There's the beep. What's our time? 32 seconds. 32.36 seconds. 32.36 seconds. Mm -hmm. Now, at the Electrify America, it was 30. So this is about two seconds slower. And I did not have to interact with the app. But this is one of the older EVgo chargers. It maxes out at 50 kilowatts. Don't have any of the faster ones that are kind of convenient for me to get to right now. Uh, so 32 seconds and change compared to 30 seconds and change with the Electrify America, and I had to fumble around with it. And the, but that was not from plugging in. It was plug in and then swipe, and that was a few more seconds, yeah. just of how fast you can go. Now, is this going to make or break your road trip? A couple of seconds here or not? Probably not, but what it does is it, that 30 seconds that you're standing around uh, at the charger could make a bit of a difference. We're going to see how that's really... Uh, if there's one that cuts it down, we're going next to a Tesla supercharger that has a magic dot connector. And with that one, we're going to have to interact with the app for the bolt as well. But we're going to see if it initializes any faster or slower 
uh, as far as the handshake. So what do I mean when I say handshake? I'm talking about the electronic handshake that happens between the charging network and the car from when the machine is plugged in, the car recognizes it, and the charger starts delivering power. That's what I'm talking about for handshake time or the time it takes to initialize. We're now at a Tesla supercharger at, off of East Chase Parkway in Fort Worth, and this one is uh, known for, uh, it has a magic dot connector. So we're gonna test the magic dot connection on the bolt, and then we'll do it on our Model 3. This is the pull through, because if you're not at the pull through, you have to kind of do what that lightning over there was doing and take up three spots. Um, all of the stalls are available. These are version threes, uh, so they're capable of 250 kilowatts, which we're not gonna do, but we're gonna charge here on the app. And then we're at stall 1A. So I'm gonna select 1A on the app, hit start charging. And at that point, are you ready to start timing, Rachel? I can unlock the adapter. Whoops. Let's try this again. There we go. Now I've got the, the magic dot connector. And open the charge port. Okay, Rachel, you ready? ready. Three, two, one. Ah, no. Three, two, you ready? Ready. Three, two, one, go. And now we're gonna see, I can't screen record off of Rachel's phone, so we're gonna take the best guess of her time and kind of show it to you on the screen. Um, after plugging in, and now this app says after plugging in, it may take two minutes to start charging. I don't even have an indicator light on the bolt that I can tell. Huh. That's the only one that's like this, like with an adapter? So, yeah, well, no, they all have the, um, they all have the adapter. Huh? They all of them do. I mean, this, this yeah, they all, they all of them have it. That was different though, right? That's, that no, that one's just the pull through. Oh, okay. It's the only one that the, oh, there's the timer. Uh, yeah, you've got you to start the app, you start the charge on the app by telling them which one you're at, hold the button, push in on that, and the adapter comes out. Okay. But they all have it. Okay. I can help you in a sec if you need it. So 44.49 seconds. That's the longest one of the three that we've charged so far. So now what I'm going to do is have Rachel time on my phone, which is doing a screen recording, on our Model 3 right here, which I think I can use this one? No, I gotta go over here to this side. Come over to the other side. I'm on the wrong side of the car. Could have told me that. <laughs> All right, so now we're on 1B, so yeah, anyway. So here, nothing fancy. I can just pull it out. You ready to start timing? Okay, I'm gonna hit the Bluetooth button and the door opens. Three, two, one, go. Blue lights. Blue light. Stop. 8.37. So that was 44 seconds for the bolt to start initializing. 8. Point what? 8.3 seconds for the Tesla to start initializing. That's because these vehicles share software. It recognized it automatically and boom, we're good to go. Now, is that time going to make or break your road trip? Going from the best time we had at CCS, which is at Electrify America for 30 seconds compared to this eight. It's a 22 second difference. Even over a, 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 a route that you've got 10 charging stops, that's going to add, what, three and a half minutes to your drive? Yeah, but it's, but the, the it's, it's what those three and a half minutes are. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the irritation of, is the car going to charge? I really have to go to the bathroom. I'm hungry, let's get some food. That's where that 20 seconds comes in and that's where that 20 seconds, that 22 seconds can feel like an hour almost. Or maybe, that's an exaggeration, five minutes, but it might feel like five minutes. But that's where it's important is how much faster this car initializes when it's at its own charger compared to the same charging system, because this uh, every one of these has magic dock uh, of how long it took on the CCS equipped bolt over there. So that's our conclusions. Yes, 
plugging in a Tesla at a Tesla supercharger is faster than any CCS by quite a bit, but the Magic Dock is slower on a CCS car to initialize than it would be at Electrify America. If you found this video entertaining or informative, give us a like. Please subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching. All right, let me help this guy out.